President Duterte was, was a no-show during his daughter's hugpong ng pagbabago campaign sortie in Pampanga. And amid all the gimmicks, the scene stealer perhaps came from feuding brothers JV Ejercito and Jingoy Estrada. Del de Vera has the whole story. Even with the absence of President Rodrigo Duterte, the senatorial candidates were still warmly welcomed by the people of Pampanga. Malacanang earlier said that the campaign activities in San Fernando and Angeles were not in the official schedule of the president. But former president and now House Speaker Gloria Arroyo was present to give her full support to the candidates of Hugpong ng Pagbabago. Pinakamalaking landslide na nakuha ni Mayor Rodrigo Duterte sa labas ng kanyang baluarte, walang iba probinsya ng Pampanga. Kaya, itong halalan, bigyan natin uli ng pinakamalaking landslide ang mga kandidato ni President Rodrigo Duterte, mga kandidato ni Mayor Sara Duterte, the mood brightened after former assistant to the president, Christopher Bongo, brought in an impersonator of the president. My duty is to protect the Filipino people and preserve the nation. And that is my mandate. Yan ang trabaho ko. Other candidates share their own gimmicks during the first day of the campaign for the 2019 midterm elections. Former PNP chief Ronald Bato de la Rosa serenaded the crowd. Former Senator Ramon Bong Revilla Jr. sang with his wife, Mayor Lani Mercado. But the scene stealer was when former Senator Jingo Estrada raised the hand of Senator J.B. Ejercito. The senatorial boss tried to woe voters into choosing them. Former political advisor to the president, Francis Tolentino, hopes that this time he will not be cheated. Anyang 2016 election, pang labing atlo ako. Kaya lang, kaya lang, pinairit dako ko. Nadaya po ako nun eh. The former police chief, meanwhile, has a challenge for the Kapampangans. I come with a clean heart. Malinis po yung puso ko. Pwede niyong buksan kung gusto niyong makita kung ito may dungis ng kasamaan, pag-aabuso o korupsyon. Please, huwag niyo akong suportahan. I don't deserve your support. Former SAP Bongo appealed to voters not to spend on campaign paraphernalia, but to use the money instead to buy construction materials for those affected by fire incidents. Iisa po ang aming hangarin ni Pangulong Duterte, kabutihan ng bawat Pilipino, dahil po mahal namin kayo. The president may not be around to endorse the 13 candidates of his daughter, but he is expected to campaign for five of Hugpong candidates who are running under his PDP Laban party. For News 5, Dale Devera, we are One News.